The lingering red tide bloom along parts of the Sun Coast continues to have an impact on sea life and beachgoers. ABC 7's Rebecca Fernandez is live from Venice Beach this evening to show us how the toxic algae is also affecting some area businesses as well. Rebecca? Hey guys, well I've gone from beach to beach today to check on the conditions and speak to businesses on the water. And they've all told me that red tide is affecting way more than just our wildlife. For such a beautiful day on the Sun Coast, the beaches are deserted, restaurants on the waterfront are empty, and it's all because of red tide. When we passed by everybody, we heard everybody coughing, my kids started coughing. Also, there are dead fish all over the beach, so we were only really able to be here for about a half an hour at best. The algae is killing sea life and washing them up on the beaches. The stench so heavy, it irritates people's throats. When people come here to the beach, um, they don't really know what this is or they ask all the time what it is and it's a combination of the algae bloom and the algae water that mixes with the Gulf. We need to do something about it because it affects everybody here. It affects the businesses that, uh, that rely on the beach to make their money uh, like we do. Many businesses have been forced to close up shop for most of the last three weeks and those that stay open are also hurting. A lot of the business decline is usually days afterwards just because people talk about the red tide and even though it might be gone it's not like rain where you walk outside and you say hey it's raining today let's not go to the beach red tide maybe you read something about it yesterday and you think maybe it's still at the beach so you don't you don't come back out Florida Fish and Wildlife releases a red tide report every week and we also post it on our website so you can check and see which areas are the most affected. Reporting live tonight in Venice, Rebecca Fernandez, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Back to you guys.